So I'm sharing on the mystery of the preparation. Na ninaamini ya kwamba Mungu atatubariki dakika chache alafu tukaweze kuomba. Uh, kama vile nilivyosema jana ningependa kurudia kwamba preparation is very key in this kingdom if God is going to use you in a mighty way. Kila mtu atakaye tumika katika ufalme kwa njia kubwa lazima atayalishwe. I'm trying to share with you the bigger picture ya preparation even as we prepare in these 21 days of prayer and fasting. I want you to see the bigger picture, the principle itself and then as we narrow down to prepare for our prayer season. Na ningetaka kusema ya kwamba wakati mwingi wakati Mungu anapotutayarisha tusipoelewa tunaweza kuwa na challenge ya kuona kama kuna wakati mwingi unapotea katika maisha yetu wakati mwingine tunakuwa confused what is happening lakini ningependa ujue ya kwamba in God's plan for your life there is a time of preparation Biblia inasema ya kwamba in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 16 and verse 13 uh, inaongea juu ya Daudi na inasema so Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him that is David in the presence of his brothers and from that day on the spirit of the Lord came upon David in power Samuel then went to Rama ningependa unota hapo ya kwamba that the spirit of the Lord came upon David in power when he was anointed but i would also like you to know that uh, when David was anointed he did not become the king it took over another over another 10 years praise the name of the living god for him to become the king and even when he became the king he did not become the king over all israel but that was a prophecy over his life hallelujah and he was anointed the second time and the third time when he became now king over all israel that tells you that even an anointing and a gift uh, is not enough uh, for you to fulfill uh, what God has called you to do unajua kuna watu wanadanganywa na upako wanadanganywa na kipawa na wanasema sasa mimi naona nimepakwa na niko na kipawa ninaweza kufanya kile Mungu amenitia mbona Daudi na Biblia inasema roho wa Mungu alikuja juu yake na nguvu mbona hakuwa mfalme siku hiyo Bona amemaliza zaidi ya miaka kumi. ni kwa sababu lazima hata kama kuna upako hata kama kuna kipawa lazima kuna preparation na nimeona kuna watu wengi walimalizwa na kufikiria because i am anointed i am gifted i can launch into what god wants me to do and they are boated their destiny you must be careful of people who push you out of your seasons in life kuna watu wanaweza kukusukuma because life is in seasons lakini kuna watu wanaweza kukusukuma katika maisha yako na wakuondoe katika majira yako kwa sababu sasa wanakuuliza sasa wewe unafanya nini hapa praise the name of the living god wewe ni mtumishi wa Mungu mkubwa umetiliwa mafuta hata kile kipawa uko nacho hata apostle Hana Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Unafanya nini hapa? Kuna watu wanaweza kukupush wanakuondoa nje ya majira yako. They puff you up. Wanakuambia wewe ni mtu mkubwa, henda ukafungue kanisa yako. Wewe kwanza unafaa uwe na ministry international. Sijuka nini haujaenda American embassy wakupatie visa 
uanze kwenda mataifa watu kama wewe walio na kipawa cha uponyaji ndio wanatafutwa na mataifa Bwana asifuwe sana Haleluya watu wanaweza kukusukuma wa kuondoe katika majira yako Kuna watu watakwambia sasa wewe yani even at this age unatembea miguu Praise the name of the living God Do not be ashamed of your pain because we say that the way to the throne is a cross Jesus was not ashamed of his pain Alipitia msarabani but he went to the throne He is seated now at the right hand of the Father Lakini wengine wetu hata saa hizi ukitoka hapa nje kama unatembea miguu ni kama mtu anaangalia nani ananiona hapa sasa nataka kuanza safari hapa na vile watu wananijua sasa watu wako na nini na wewe praise the name of the living god haleluya tayalisha ushuhuda wako kwa furaha na usikubali mtu akuondoe katika majira ya my wife anajua kwa sababu tulikuwa vijana pamoja tukiwa katika ministry na kuna mahali nilikuwa naishi pale ziwani na ilikuwa ni mahali kwa kiosk na tulikuwa tunakaa na watoto mtu ambaye mchungaji alikuwa na ministry ya street children sasa ikabidi nikae pale na wale watoto haikuwa environment nzuri sana na kuna watu wangeniambia apostle wakati huo siku anaitwa apostle dugata modwa gai mtu wa Mungu si tukutafutie kanyumba mahali we unakaa nawaambia hapana uh, wakati wangu wa kutoka hapa bado haujafika don't allow people to push you out of your season kama Mungu anakutayarishia mahali kwa kanyumba ya mabati ya single room kaa pale paka Mungu akwambie hiyo stage tumemaliza because usipomaliza atakurudisha jina la bwana ipewe sifa nataka nikwambie ni nilikaa pale na saa hiyo ninaenda mission na Mungu anatunitumia lakini mahali ninakaa sio mahali unaweza kutembeza mgeni jina la bwana lipewe sifa na nikiambiwa nitolewe pale ninakatalia pale kwa sababu ndani yangu ninasikia kwamba Mungu anataka niwe hapa ananitayarisha kwa kusudi lake jema praise the name of the living god hallelujah ni vizuri kukatalia katika season fulani unasema watu nakwambia si wewe unafaa ununue gari yako yani mpaka saa hizi unabebwa na matatu paka wanakuonyesha mtu mwingine ako na gari hapo anakwambia ona na huyo tare gari ni wewe tu au gari praise the name of the living god unaenda unajiwekelea maroon praise the name of the living god na mambo mengine mazito ama hata kama uko na uwezo wa kununua unanunua lakini Mungu anasema tumemalizana na wewe kuna mambo unaweza kufanya Unaweza sema sasa watu nakwambia unafaa kuwa bishop uende ufungue ministry yako. Siku ile utafungua Mungu aseme ni dawa idhaba moko. Na umepakwa na uko na kipawa na uko na mwito. Lakini Mungu anasema umeondoka katika majira. Umekataa nikutayarishe kwa sababu ya kile nilikuwa nimekusudia. Praise the name of the living God. Umekataa nifanye kazi ndani yako ili nikufanye chombo cha heshima. Mungu anasema sasa hatuko pamoja na wewe. Sasa unakuta mtu ambaye alikuwa anatumiwa na Mungu lakini mahali yako ni shodi, anangangana. Ako na watu 35 wakifika mia wanashuka. Ni kama Mungu anakujaga kuangalia Nora kwa gereiliado nani alikuongezea watu anawatoa unakemea mapepo na sio mapepo praise the name of the living god ni Mungu anasema hatukumalizana na wewe jina la Bwana lipewe sifa wakati mmoja nikawa na changamoto mingi katika huduma nikasema nasikia Mungu hata ananiongoza niende bible school 
Nikienda Bible school baada ya kukaa miezi kadhaa kwa sababu nilikuwa napenda maombi na amuka saa kumi na moja kuomba wakati wanafunzi wengine wamerara subuhi moja nikiomba Mungu akaniambia akaniuliza na kikuyu no wago tumire huko nani alikutuma huko yani mimi nafikiria ati niko kwa mpango na jiandaa kwa sababu ya future ya ministry Mungu akaniambia rudi kwa shule yangu nikamwambia Mungu niko hapa nisome Dio niwe bora katika ule muto menitia. Mungu akaniambia rudi katika shule yangu kumbe shule ya Mungu ni hiyo mateso ni hizo shida ni hizo changamoto za kuongoza watu nilikuwa ninapitia Praise the name of the living God watu wangapi wametoroka shule ya Mungu kwa sababu wamekutana na changamoto na hizo changamoto Daudi anasema in distress You enlarged me because uh, I was a shepherd boy and you are preparing me to be a king and my heart uh, was not big enough uh, to carry a nation so in my distress uh, you enlarged me Kuna mambo Mungu anasema kwa sababu ya kazi nimekuitia lazima nipanue moyo wako na kupanuliwa moyo ni kupitishiwa mambo mazito kupitishiwa mambo ya uchungu yanaweza fanya uwe na bitterness na watu lakini kumbe it has nothing to do with people as iron sharpens iron so one man sharpens the countenance of another kumbe ni Mungu anatumia watu wa kutengeneze wa kutayarishe kwa sababu ya kile Mungu anataka aweze kufanya na wewe lakini wengine tunatoroka. Mimi nikwambia nilisoma wakati moja juu ya Daudi, vile anakimbizwa na Saul, anataka kumuua. Wanakutana na Jonathan, wana hug one another, wanalia, Daudi akalia zaidi. Paka nikahurumia huyu mtoto. Anaulizwa nini? Bwana siwe sana. Kumbe ako katika mpango wa Mungu. Sometimes uh, don't be very kind to help people and by helping them you are pushing them out of God's plan. Kuna kitabu moja niisoma na wengine pengine wameshai kusoma kitabu hicho kinaitwa Shepherd Staff. Ni kitabu kizuri sana na wachungaji. Na in the book of Shepherd Staff uh, nikasoma one story. Ilikuwa imeandikwa na mtu anaitwa Raf Mahoni. Na akasema Mungu alikuwa anamfundisha vile yeye huwa anatayarisha watumishi wake lakini pia vile watumishi wake wanaharibiwa na watu walio na huruma na wanatoa wana watumishi wake katika mpango wa Mungu. So siku moja alikuwa chini ya mti kwa sababu kulikuwa na jua kali na pale ndiyo palikuwa na kivuli. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. So akaona akaona uh, e butterfly it's, it's not a butterfly um, kuna e insect ambayo inakaa ina shell ina ilikuwa ina struggle kutoka wakati ina struggle kutoka sasa akaona hii ina struggle kutoka in this shell si niisaidia nikate hii shell itoke mara moja wakati ilipotoka ikawa na wepesi wa kutembea ilipotembea ikatoka chini ya kivuli ikaenda kwa jua ikachomwa ikafa Mungu akaanza kumfundisha akamwambia hiyo sehemu ilikuwa inangangana kutoka haikuwa imekoma sasa vile umeitoa imeingia katika eneo haikuwa inafaa ingie na ndipo sasa imekufa akamwambia hivyo ndivyo watumishi wangu wamefanyiwa wakati wanangangana kuna maturity ina developer katika maisha yao iwe ni ya finances iwe ni ya leadership kwa sababu wakati unangangana na washirika wa 40 ah Mungu anakutayarisha ana, ana pia wakati unangangana hauna pesa Mungu anakutayarisha pia lakini wakati unangangana unapata mzungu mmoja na kwa sababu anaona kipawa na mwito anakupatia pesa haujawahi ona in dollars kuanzia siku hiyo unahama mahali kulikuwa unaishi kuanzia siku hiyo hakuna kutembea miguu 
kuanzia siku hiyo unahama hoteli zile ulikuwa unakula na unaenda hoteli zingine kubwa unakwisha Bwana asiwe sana wengine wenu kuna hoteli hata kama huwa tuna encourage ujijaze tafadhali kuna hoteli hata Mungu akikupata anastuka gai sijui yeye ataita nani anakupata huko anauliza ukinyira kwa kuatea ulifika hapa namna gani na mimi sija kufikisha huku praise the name of the living god haleluya yani wewe unakuwa exposed na mambo sio ya kukutayarisha ni ya kukumaliza lakini yule mtu ambaye anakusaidia anafikiria na kuhurumia kumbe sio kukuhurumia na kuna watumishi wengi hapa Kenya bisho mwanda wanajua wamemalizwa na misaada kwa sababu hiyo misaada mimi najua wakati nipo kuwa hapa nakuru rafiki zangu wengine wako nchi za nje wananitumia watu wakuja kunisaidia Mungu akaniambia don't connect with that person rafiki yangu ananiambia kimani na kutumia mtu akukusaidia unakataa hata mimi sitakuwa na kusaidia na ile kidogo nilikuwa nakusaidia sasa nitafanya nini na ni Mungu amenikataza Kumbe Mungu anaweza angalia one sijafika kiwango cha ule msaada yule mtu anataka kunipatia na hii struggle ambayo niko katika maisha yangu it is part of God plan and program to prepare me for the future. Bwana asifiwe sana. It's not a mask sababu umetumiwa invitation ya America uende. Unaweza kusema my time Yesu alikuwa anaambiwa na ndugu zake, wewe siwende kwa karamu. Si mtu yoyote anataka kuwa mkubwa. Huwa anaenda mahali kama pale. Yesu anasema for you any time is right. But for me my time is not yet. Imagine. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Wakati watu wengi wana push kwenda in public unafikia ni watu wangapi unaweza patia ibada kama hii wahubiri wakatae akamwambia apostle nimeshukuru kunipatia hiyo nafasi lakini nasikia wakati wangu wa kuhubiri ibada kama hiyo haujafika na nikifanya hivyo nitakwisha jina bwana ipewe sifa watu wengi wakipata opportunity wanasema ikuje walete hiyo visa wanalipa tikiti ah twende Bibi anasema tutaenda mataifa yote tuhubiri injiri. Lakini nje do you know your time? Unajua wakati wako. Unajua kwenda kabla ya wakati wako kunaweza kukumaliza. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Kabla sijakuja hapa na kuru tukua tunaenda na ministry tunahubiri watu 200 wanaokoka. Nimeinvite bishop a pastor ambaye yako na kanisa kama guest speaker. Ananiambia kimani. Unakataa kufungua kanisa mahali kama hapa. Mungu ameachilia mavuno. Unatupa mavuno hivi. Namwambia hapana. Mi bado Mungu hajaweka ndani yangu nifungue kanisa. Praise the name of the. Anakuconvince. Anakuambia ni mkulima gani anaweka bidii kupanda na kupalilia. Ha? baadaye mavuno ikiwa tiari anawaachilia waje kuachilia watu kama hawa fungua kanisa hata ukienda panda mtu yako hapo uwe unatumiwa sadaka ukiwa na robi inasikika a good idea but not every good idea is god idea praise the name of the living god haleluya paka wakati wa mungu ulipofika na mungu akanielekeza wapendwa nataka kusema ya kwamba The mystery of preparation is a mystery that we need to understand. Ni vizuri kujenga nyumba lakini timing. Praise the name of the living God. Ni vizuri kuoa na kuolewa lakini timing. Na kama rafiki yako ameolewa na miaka 27, sio wewe lazima uolewe na 27. Ama kama ameoa na 25, sio lazima wewe uoe na 25. Praise the name of the living God. Maisha yetu yako designed tofauti. I was surprised kuona Charles Jojo alio akiwa na 51. Praise the name of the living God. 
Hallelujah. So maisha yetu yako designed tofauti. Na wewe kubali maisha yako, Mungu aperekane na wewe vile anavyo taka. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Mungu anawaandaa hapa kwa sababu ya mambo tofauti sawa sawa na makusudi yake. Ni vizuri kila mmoja kujielewa mahali yako na sisemi tena uchelewe na sisemi tena uruke mbele. Ni vizuri kuperekana na timing na saa ya Mungu katika maisha yako. Kwa sababu ukiperekana na saa na timing ya Mungu hautawahi kupotea. Jina la Bwana nipewe sifa. Haleluya, hautawahi kupotea. Kuna milango inaweza kaa kama imefunguka na watu wanakuambia ingilia huo mlango. Na nimeshawaikona hivyo katika maisha yangu. Lakini witness ya Holy Spirit inaniambia not yet. Wakati wako haujakuja. Usikubali kuingia hapo. Praise the name of the living God. Haleluya. Na ukijua sio wakati wako sio kumaanisha siku moja Yesu alisema my time is not yet yeah? alisema i know my time praise the name of the living god ni kama wana wa Isaka they knew what Israel ought to do na waliyelewa timing praise the name of the living god receive the grace of preparation kama ninaongea na mtu ambaye amekuwa kipitia majira ya kutayarishwa do not be ashamed of your pain kama uko na nguo moja ifue hata kama ni usiku vaa the following day ninajua uchungu wa kuvaa kufua nguo usiku asubuhi ndio unangojea ikauke unaikausha nafasi na unaivaa kama uko katika hiyo hali ya maisha endelea na usikubali kujiexpose sana watu wakuhurumie ha ti unaenda ukiambia watu ni ile ajana tu nimefua na unijue gaini alejiwe radha kama Mungu atakuhurumia si wacha akuhurumie silently bila gekero without on speaker kutangazia watu praise the name of the living god haleluya ni kama unataka uhurumie na watu Mungu anajua address ya kwako na siku yake ya kuja hata tafuta njia ya kuja anajua njia ya kukufikia Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Can somebody declare I receive the grace of preparation for what is ahead of me in the mighty name of Jesus. Prepare me O God according to your will in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of Luke wakati Yesu Kristo alipoita wanafunzi wake ili akaweze kuwafanya mitume uh, in Luke chapter 6 and verse 12 utaona ya kwamba aliwaita one of those days Jesus went out to a mountain side to pray and spent the night praying to God when morning came he called his disciples to him and chose twelve of them whom he also designated apostles hao aliyowachagua wote aliwaita nani mitume lakini kuna tofauti ya kuitwa na kutayarishwa hawakuwa wametayarishwa kuwa mitume praise the name of the living god haleluya lakini amewaita ili awatayarishe and you know the outcome ya hao wote 12 If you study them utaona they are failures utaona their impact was not the same mtu kama Judas alikataa kubadilika Judas alikataa kuwa transformed praise the name of the living God ameitwa anahubiriwa injiri ya kuwa mwaminifu lakini akakataa kuna watu huwa wanaitwa na wako na taito kubwa lakini wanakataa transformation So Judas alibaki akiwa mwizi na akabaki kuwa na tamaa ya pesa. Wakati aliona pesa ya sadaka imepungua, akasema I'll sell my master. Ni walale kakuitia muhodhia. Ni anakataa kuitisha sadaka, yeye ndiye nitauza. 
So wakati alipatiwa ofa, akachukua ofa. Yaani imagine mtu kama huyo ameitiwa position ya kuwa na posto. Lakini katika preparation he did not make it. Praise the name of the living God. It's not everyone who is going to make it. As much as they have a big title, they have a big calling. Preparation uh, determines uh, what you become. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Matayarisho yako wakati Mungu anakutayarisha itategemea mwisho ule mwingine. Ukienda kwa factory kuna vitu vinaitangwa reject. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ni a harsh word lakini ningetaka kusema ya kwamba sio watu wote ambao wanaitwa wanapita process wanatoka upande ule mwingine na wanapelekwa katika market kuna watu wengine wanakuanga ni reject ya mwito lakini unajua ukienda katika factory kuna watu wananuanga hizo ma reject kama ni za mattress wanazitumia na kazi zingine ama wanazitumia kama cheap material so there are people who don't make it in the process they become rejects wanawezaenda kutumika lakini hawatatumika kulingana na vile Mungu alivyokusudia kwa sababu katika process waliharibika Bwana asifiwe sana So wanafunzi wote wa Yesu hawakuwa na impact moja wengine kama Thomas alikataa kuamini kabisa Ndio unaona hata sio wote wametuandikia barua hakuna kitabu cha Thomas Bwana asifiwe sana Haleluya Lakini alikuwa moja wa wale waliitwa katikati ya wale 12 What happened Preparation Jina bwana ipewe sifa. Hata kuna wakati Yesu alikuwa anauliza wanafunzi wake, nitakuwa na nyinyi mpaka lini? Niko hapa ni watayarishe kwa muda. Lakini nitakaa na nyinyi mpaka lini? Wewe Thomas hauwezi kuamini kabla hujaona. Praise the name of the living God. Na sasa nimekuwa na wewe miaka tatu. Nimejaribu kukutayarisha. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Hallelujah. Preparation determines what you become. Preparation in this season of prayer determines your encounter with God. If you prepare very well na umaanishe Mungu atakutana na wewe kwa njia kubwa. Ukichukulia tu kwa mzaha na kwa kawaida. Then itakuwa ni kawaida Proverbs 21 and verse 31 inasema the horse is made ready for the day of battle but victory lest with the lord the horse is made ready for the day of battle but victory lest with the that means uh, the horse must be prepared uh, for the day of but victory rests with who so god is saying uh, you must prepare as much as i am the one who is going to give you victory you must prepare prepare for the assignment prepare for the mandate seek for knowledge in the area of your calling hata wanafunzi shuleni hawezi kuambia msisome Mungu je wakati mtihani utakaribia muanze kuongea na lugha Manasema lika rabaraba shanda na lazima nipite katika jina la Yesu na unakuti maandiko neno la Mungu linasema mimi sitakuwa mkia nitakuwa kichwa Unaweza kukuti hizo promises zote na ni za kweli lakini bado uwe mkia because you did not prepare The horse must be prepared hata kama Mungu atakupatia ushindi amesema prepare your horse prepare for business prepare for ministry prepare for your career prepare for your assignment and then umwambie Mungu nipatie ushindi praise the name of the living god lazima tuzielewe kanuni za Mungu wapendwa Lazima tujue huyu ni Mungu wa preparation. 
na Mungu anatamani watu waweze kujiandaa andaa farasi yako kwa siku ya vita na ukifika kwa vita sasa iwe ni vita ya huduma iwe ni vita ya jamii iwe ni vita ya biashara unaweza kumwambia Bwana nimeandaa farasi lakini nipatie ushindi Bwana asifiwe sana lakini sio kwamba you refuse to study you refuse to read the word of God alafu unasema nitasimama tu kwa madhabahu na roho mtakatifu ataanza kuachilia maandiko The Bible says uh, he will bring to remembrance. Sasa utakumbushwa nini kama hukusoma chochote? The Bible says let the word of God dwell in you literally. That means you have to reba in leading the word hata kama hutaelewa wewe jijaze na neno. Roho mtakatifu akija ataanza kuachilia lile neno unalolihitaji katika wakati wake praise the name of the living god i release the grace of preparation and i declare that in this prayer season somebody will have an encounter an encounter they have never experienced oh my god kuna watu watauliza kumbe gai ino achere modu wake haleluya kuna watu watasema mwisho wa haya maombi kumbe Mungu anaweza kutembelea mtu akijitayarisha kumbe Mungu anaweza kutembelea mtu akimaanisha in the mighty name of Jesus kuna watu watasikia ni kama wameanza maisha yao ya maombi kuna watu watasikia ni kama wameanza maisha yao ya kutafuta Bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo kwa sababu ya kujitayarisha utaona utukufu wa Mungu Mungu utaona matendo ya Jehova in the mighty name of Jesus uh, can you speak to God uh, and tell God uh, I am preparing uh, for a mighty visitation uh, I consecrate my life to you oh God uh, I offer my body as a living sacrifice uh, in the mighty name of Jesus call upon the name of the Lord now in the mighty name of Jesus uh, and tell God uh, I come before thee my father to prepare for an encounter to prepare for a divine visitation uh, in the mighty name of Jesus sitaki ukawaida in the mighty name of Jesus sitaki udini na kufanya mambo kwa mazoea ninamaanisha bwana ya kwamba ninaomba unitembelee bwana in the mighty name of Jesus i prepare my heart to god shaka maganda mazia shaka maganda rimazeria shaka maganda rimahanda bwana